It's going to be our last one. Charles, Charles Biggs, uh, sent me a file. Can you please help me get the circled feature? Let me show you what Charles sent me. Charles sent me this file right here. Um, so if you're looking, so this is actually, thank you so much for a great image to work from. We're kind of looking at this file here, but if you're looking over the drawing, we can see that we kind of have a, a rolled around edges right here. Um, I have had no luck getting to the features made with draft, rip, or extrude. That is because I would probably use laughed. <laughs> you were just missing. You were just missing one, Charles. Let's do that one quick. Um, again, this is just me trying to answer some quick questions on a Sunday. So if we go in here and start a new sketch and see as for the so in a rectangle, let's make this. I don't know what it is. One hundred by one hundred. Um, and uh, let's extrude that up. Give it some little bit of thickness. Boom, boom, boom. 10 millimeters, probably good. Let's add some radiuses on here. Like this. Let's make it 10 millimeter radiuses. So what we got right now, when we look, oh, not that image. When we're looking at um, Charles's one here, I kind of drew up the bottom here, right? Um, then what I would do was I would create a offset plane from that top face. That is however high that part, that shelf is. And let's start a sketch and that. Hit P for project to steal kind of this edge, uh, this edge right here. So now that is sitting up there. We do O for offset and we can then go in as further in as we want to. Let's go minus 20 maybe. And uh, I would actually in here add that 10 millimeter fillet from before. So 10, 10, 10, 10, right? So now we kind of have that sketch sitting up there. And then the loft is your friend here. Press the loft tool. So like that insert, so like that out there. And look at this, Charles. There you have a nice rolled around edge. Um, and just as I'm looking, so that will give you that rolled around edge that you're looking for right there. And then just to finish it up, just so you kind of see what I would do with the rest. Let's go in and create an insert pocket here. S key to get my center rectangle. Let's make that 35 by 35. Q for press pull. Let's cut that shelf down there. So now we got that center in there. And then we have four windows. And we could do four windows by opening up a sketch on inside of here. Ooh, and remember last week I showed that slice tool in the sketch that will kind of give us. So now we're slicing through so we can kind of see on that face. This makes life a little bit better. I'm not going to fully define this. I'm going to make a window. I'm going to hit Q for press pull to drag that through there. There is one window. And now we could do a circular pattern. Select the feature. That'll be that cut. Axis going to be a blue line. And we'll do four of them. And there we have that. I think. Charles, you let me know if I'm wrong. I think this is what, when I'm looking at this image over here, I think that what you were looking for was this. Am I right? Am I wrong? I don't know. That was about an hour. I hope this was useful. Just trying to add a little bit more value to your day. Charles, if you like this, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Leave the comments. Love those. Um, that was a little over an hour on a Sunday afternoon, again, with my new roller out of this.